What's up, everybody? Welcome to our very first F125 video. And most importantly, we're going to be showing you guys the best way to set up triple monitors for your F125 uh, if you don't want to use NVIDIA Surround. Now, me personally, I don't use NVIDIA Surround purely because I happen to use my computer for other things besides sim racing. If you do use your uh, computer for effectively just sim racing, NVIDIA Surround is a great solution, don't get me wrong. But this video will be entirely about a different solution beyond NVIDIA Surround. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Let's go ahead and jump into this thing. All right. So when you open the game, here is the main uh, menu screen. We're going to go straight down to the settings tab. There's something you have to do first in the game to go ahead and get this working. It's a very weird backward solution, but I promise you this is the way you got to do it. I've tried a bunch of stuff so far. Unless there's a patch later, this is so far the current best way that I've found. Go to your video mode. Make sure that you are set not on windowed full screen. Put yourself on windowed regular windowed make sure it's obviously you know whichever window you want it to be it really doesn't matter as you're going to see in the future but just make sure it's on windowed i personally also recommend turning off your anti-aliasing it's just an extra thing do not use nvidia dlss it makes triple monitors basically impossible keep that off otherwise basically everything else make sure like i said go yourself to windows click escape confirm the changes it'll switch over to windowed you can see there's the border now on the outside accept the changes great and now you can exit out of the game, and we are going to go and download a program called Resize Raccoon. All right, so we are on the web page for a program called Resize Raccoon. Resize Raccoon is a phenomenal program. I'm going to have the uh, link to this thing linked in the description below, but it's actually what I use for EA Sports WRC. I use this for ACC. I use it for a set of quartz set as well. Uh, it's a phenomenal program, and it just kind of lets you, like, you know, put anything into triple monitors without having to use NVIDIA Surround. Uh, it's it's awesome. The way you install this thing, go over to this thing and click on the releases section. Find your most recent release. And of course, go ahead and download it. So I'm going to be doing this one. I already have it, but this is what you would click and you go through and install the program. And now that you've installed the program, it's going to look a little bit like this. You obviously won't have these things right here. But what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and pop into this bottom right. Click the plus sign and select a process. You won't have anything on here right now. So just go ahead and leave this to the side. And we are going to launch back up f125 with resize raccoon running in the background all right so now that f125 is back up and running notice i'm still on windowed mode i'm gonna go ahead and alt tab back over to resize raccoon i've got it right here notice i deleted the f125 so i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to walk through it you click this plus button you notice find a uh, select a process of course you're gonna see right here f125.exe click on that i like this copy values from preset it's literally the best you just figure out which you know monitor resolution you have so do you have triple 1080p? Do you have triple 2K or triple 4K? Me personally, I'm on triple 4K. I click this and it auto fills in all the positions. I'm going to click remove borders. And me personally, I don't like this auto resize. Uh, I like to be able to manually do this. But if you don't ever want to have to manually, you know, open up resize raccoon and run it like this, you just click this auto resize and auto resize delay. I recommend like 30 milliseconds. So your resize is after 30 milliseconds of being open. It's a great way for it to just automatically fix it every single time you launch the game. Uh, but you definitely don't have to do this. Um, but, if, you know, for the sake of doing this, I'll go ahead and put it on so you guys can kind of see how it looks. Click Save right here. And then you're going to click this little expand button and watch what happens. I'm going to go to the shoulder camera. You can see I'm on single monitors right now. Hovering over this. Let's go ahead and click the expand. Three, two, one. Give it a second. Whoa! Wait, wait, there it is! Great, and we're stretched. Uh, you can't really see right now because obviously the screens are black on the sides, but it is perfectly working. One thing that I've noticed is a little bit of a glitch is it kind of slows down the game for the first like 30 seconds or so while it figures itself out like, oh my gosh, I'm on triple monitor now. This could be a, a symptom of my own computer. I haven't been able to test on other computers. I am running triple 4K uh, at relatively high graphics on a computer that's pretty decent, but it's not the best computer in the world, so that could be part of the reason why. But a good way to kind of get rid of this, you just scroll yourself down to the settings and notice how slow this thing is. It's incredible. Just go over. Run through a cutscene or two. Give it a second. It's funny, the moment I click on graphics settings, it fixes itself. And now it's back to normal. Really weird, but it works. Now let's go jump into a, a game, or jump into a race, and you can see what it looks like on triple monitors. All right, and welcome to the cockpit. We are now in the game, actually in a uh, session. I'm gonna go ahead and go out on track so that we can kind of configure our camera settings out here on track so you can see what it looks like. It's a little bit easier this way. Go ahead and pause your game. I currently have it bound over to here. Go down to your settings, go to your camera customization, 
and make sure you put yourself on the cockpit camera. It'll usually start you on TV pod. Pop over to cockpit. I personally recommend going to car specific settings. Uh, and this is where it's gonna be really important. Find the car that you're in right now. Obviously I'm in the Williams right now, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and go down here and you're gonna start messing with these settings to where it starts to look correct for you. I have found a couple things that work best. I think that you up the field of view so that way you can see a little bit more is great. And then you move the horizontal view forward. Has been what I found is the most realistic. Those are the big ones. I think a one to two ratio is pretty good. Uh, but honestly, it's a lot of it is kind of personal preference. I try to make this wheel be about the same size as the wheel that you see in the game right there. Uh, that's my goal. Now, you obviously want to move your offset vertical horizontal uh, based on whatever is right for you and your settings. This is going to take a little bit of tweaking to find what feels good for you. Uh, but this is kind of, you know, a, a, a really great thing to do to make sure your settings are dialed in. This is a personal preference stuff. This is what I found to be really good, at least in the Williams. The clip plane, you don't really need to mess with that. Um, your angle, though, is pretty helpful. It obviously, you know, moves you upwards or downwards like that. I like putting it at four. Personal preference. Uh, I personally also recommend taking off your camera shake entirely, as well as your camera movement and your look to apex and your halo column. You can leave the halo column on if you want. I think it's off is better. When you're in VR, though, always keep it on. It looks better, but this is not a VR video. Triple monitor video. Other than that, this is what's important in my opinion. Make sure these settings are good for you. Jump around, get in the get in the game and play around with it and see what feels good for you. But this is what I like. Uh, obviously, it doesn't help me drive any better, but it is what I like to drive in. That feels great for me now. And you're out there driving now in F-125 on triple monitors. I hope you guys all had a great time watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, it was all as informative as you needed and got you all the information that you needed to be able to get out there and get going on the new F1 game uh, on your triple monitors. Have fun out there. Happy racing, everybody. And thanks so much for watching. See you later.